Hey team, Luke with Crusader Machining here. Do you want to see how I touch off live tools or driven tools on a machine like this? If so, follow along. We're going to touch off some tools without using the tools, the cue setter, the tool setter. We have a job coming up here that we need to put a spot drill tap on the side. On this lathe here, we're going to touch off a few tools. Now what you're not going to hear in this video is that bird, that annoying quack, quack, squawking bird. Did we fix the machine? Not yet, but I stopped it so I could record the video. You're welcome. Let's dive in. So these tools, let me bring it back home. These are the live tools that we're going to touch off. We have a spot. A spot, a drill, and a tap. We are going to touch them off on our material right here. Since we're going to touch them off without the cue setter, which if you have a tool setter or a cue setter and you like to use it, use it. This is that that this video is designated to touching it off without a cue setter. I've had a few people ask. And I want to adjust, address it. So here's our turn. You're going to start out with a known tool, a tool that you know is touched off on both Z and X0. We're going to, our tool there is tool one. I'm going to go to MDI T0101, end the block insert, cycle start, boom. Now we got our tool one offsets registered. I'm going to go GOZ 0.0. .0 and the block insert. We're gonna move over to Z0. We're gonna position this here. So I'm at Z0. I'm gonna bring my tool in here, turn on my spindle, and I'm gonna face it off at Z0. Essentially now, I am telling the machine so I'm telling the machine where my Z0 is at, facing it with a known tool. This is aluminum, so you can be a little bit more, you don't have to be as careful. If this was stainless or a harder steel, like especially Inconel, I wouldn't do this. I usually go to about 1,000 RPM, manually jog it down. Now our Z0 is touched, but we have to also give it a diameter. So I'm going to go to, in my position page, bring this up here. In my position page, I'm gonna go down to X1.1. So now with my known tool, X1.1, I'm gonna go, and like I say, this is aluminum. With aluminum, I could do this no problem. I'm comfortable with it. Something like stainless or even low carbon steel, I would not. I would be a little bit more let's say delicate. I'm going to go home. So now this is Z0. This is X1.1. I'm going to verify that with calipers and then we are going to begin touching off our live tools or our driven tools on that material. We're going to set X and Z0 without the tool setter. Was rock and roll. So let's verify that with our caliper. 1.1. 1. 1. 1. 1 as we thought. Now I like to use what we call in the industry a very scientific high tech tool, paper. 0 0.003. This is important to know. I'll cover why in just a moment. We are going to begin by teaching our spot, which in our program is tool four. You can see the spot coming down there now. Our spot is 625 5 eighths. What we're going to do now, we're going to have to use a little bit of math on this one. I'm going to bring that close to my Z0. I'm going to move it in 
And everyone should know the paper trick. So now I have it where the paper just slides, but it's tight. Let's go to our offset page. So let's do a little bit of math to dial this in perfect. Our tool is 5 eighths. 5 divided by 8 is 625. 625. We're going to divide that by 2 because we want the center line of that tool. Divided by 2 gives us 312 and a half. So 312 and a half is the center line from the side of that tool where we touch it off with the paper to the center of the tool. That's important. So now that we know the 312 and a half, let's go back to that geometry page. So here's our tool here. You can see we touched off there, but we don't want this as our Z0. We want the center, which is half of the tool. So that's tool four. I can see the physical position on the turret. Go to our offset page. Geometry, tool four, we are going to say Z, zero point, measure, but we don't want that. We're going to go in negative 0.3125, input plus, execute, but we're also going to subtract that three thousands from the paper, negative 0.003, input plus, execute. 80364. So those tools were in there before. I just wanted to make sure that they were good, where it's a new setup. We were using those pockets, but we were within one thou. Now, here's the fun part. Because we have one, two, three tools all in a line, we do not have to retouch them in Z. We could just say 8.0354. Input. Now go to tool six, which is the tap. 8.0354. Input. So now, because they're all three in the same line, now let's teach that tool on X. We have taught the tool on Z. I'm going to move it out on Z. I'm in handle. I'm going to move it up on X. Bring it to a safe spot. Use the most technologically advanced touch-off tool in the business. Now we taught it on X, or we're not taught it, but we put it to the position. So we're going to go to tool four. I'm going to type X 1.100 measure. Boom. But we got to compensate for the paper and it's three thousandths on one side but it's on a diameter so we're going to double that i'm going to say 0 0.006 input plus execute boom that's how we teach that tool on x So as the great Montel Jordan used to say, this is how we do it. That is how we teach tools for doing cross work, live tools, driven tools, however you want to call it. That's how we touch them off on this machine without a cue setter. And I know a lot of people think, man, just use the, to the tool setter or the cue setter, however, however you call it. There are times in the past that I have. I prefer, one more, I prefer the paper method. Generally speaking, is a cue setter more accurate? Oh, definitely. This machine is approaching 10 or 12 years old. The cue setter definitely needs to be calibrated often. We do a lot of setups. We do a lot of setups. We do a lot of teaching tools. Maybe actually that's an argument for using it. I like using the paper. It's something I've been doing for a long time. You want to call me an old geezer? That's fine. I'll take it. Perhaps I am, and maybe I should get with the times. Regardless of the fact, that's how I touch it off without using the tool setter. 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me a like, give me a follow. I recently started a Facebook page. Not sure if any of you guys are on there. Go find me, give me a follow, give me a like, whatever that's called on there. Check out the rest of my videos. Leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching it. I absolutely love the comments, the likes, the follows, the shares. It's absolutely awesome. Once again, this is Luca Crusader Machining signing out. Have a good one. We will see you next time.